Alrighty, so we just had Cedar Point make their announcement for 2019, and I have a feeling that this wasn't what people were expecting. I'll dive in a little bit to it because I actually want to make a separate video on what I think Cedar Fair is actually doing wrong with Cedar Point. There's a lot going on that I'm just not on board with. Um, it's nothing about the announcements. It's nothing about the um, types of investments. It's it's the kind of investments they're making when spending so much money on becoming a resort destination. Now, this attraction seems super exciting. I'm not de trying to downplay it at all, but I was expecting a little more. Now, the season is not over and more can come, um, but I'll make that in a separate video. I just want to wait a little longer and see if we're missing anything. Now, it looks like Dinosaurs Alive is leaving exactly what people were anticipating, and we are getting Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island. It looks like it's an escape room type attraction on an island, so you're not going to be escaping from a room. It, it sounds like you're going to be put up to challenges and escaping from an island. So again, that is Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island. It's coming in summer 2019. And to be honest, I feel like this island's going to become home to a couple of upcharge attractions based off of this whole Adventure Island type thing. So Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island, grab your map and prepare for a minute by minute real life adventure where you and others are challenged, questioned and pushed to the limits in both brain and brute power. Be immersed in interactive encounters with the island inhabitants. Push yourself with physically active challenges that test your resourcefulness and fortitude. It's your job to discover and uncover all that you can to solve the mystery surrounding the Forbidden Frontier and return to tell the tale. Every ending is different and determined by you and the secrets you unlock. The secrets of the Forbidden Frontier will be revealed as we unlock the adventure map. So come back to this page for updates and new surprises. The Forbidden Frontier and Adventure Island opens summer 2019. So it's interesting because they're not even releasing everything on this upcharge attraction, if it ends up being an upcharge attraction, which I think is a little much. If you're just announcing a adventure type experience, I would have announced it all at once. It seems a little bit overhyped if you're kind of like drowning or sorry, prolonging um, this whole announcement for an Adventure Island. I still am expecting a flat ride for 2019. Um, fingers crossed, it is looking a little less likely as we continue, um, but Witch's Wheel was removed, and I honestly think that we'll see either like a Lumberjack style ride from Wonderland or Skyhawk, you know, Sky Roller attraction from Wonderland at Cedar Point as well. I'm gonna hold true to that whole rumor. I don't think this is it, and the reason I don't think it is all that's coming is because Cedar Point has not had the best year. It hasn't been the best year for them. In fact, it hasn't been the best couple years for Cedar Point, and they need something. With um, with the attractions that Cedar Point is adding and not getting that increase in attendance that they're expecting, it is not good. And in my opinion, again, I'll touch on this a little more in another video, adding an Adventure Island type experience that most likely will be an upcharge attraction is not what Cedar Point needed. I mean, I love it. I love escape rooms. I wish Wonderland could get something like this, so I am not insulting this attraction at all. In fact, I would love this at Wonderland again, as I just said, and I, I'm definitely going to do this when I go to Cedar Point, but I, they just need that one extra attraction, whether it be a family ride or a thrill ride, they need to boost their attendance and they need that extra little oomph um, to get them over there. I mean, if Canada's Wonderland can add a big roller coaster in 2019, and a family flat ride, a thrilling flat ride, a water park expansion, upgrading their restaurants and restrooms, and also upgrading like themed areas in the park for 2018. I would expect Cedar Point to be able to do some of the similar things. Why not add a flat ride with this or even two flat rides with it, like a family edition, a thrilling ride and this Adventure Island experience? I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm ex I was expecting a little more. I was never expecting a coaster. I was never expecting, you know, the best flat ride in the world, but I was expecting that little extra oomph from Cedar Point, and I feel like they under-delivered, and um, I feel like this is not going to help them in 2019 either, and I'm a little worried. I know 2020 is hopefully bringing some epic type experience or thrill ride or coaster, and I look forward to that, but I was just expecting more for this year. Comment down below what you guys think, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to see. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.